All right, y'all. I figured it'd be fun to uh, record the event that's out today, the Dragon Stroll. So we'll see how we do recording it live for y'all. Here we go with round one. I'm going to be Lost Island in round one. And I'm going to be tempted to uh, go for some holes. So here we go with the Glide Roll Rive. Put a little bit of ante on it just to make sure we keep it to the right before it starts to fade back towards the basket. And that's about perfect. Nice little tap in to start. I like it. See what we do on hole number two. Nice calm wind. So I should be able to uh, throw the sapphire here. Middle chevron right in the opening there. A little bit of Anheuser. And this should be pretty dang good. Maybe another tap in. Oh, uh, no. Almost. Hole number three. Let's see if we can get a good drive and have a look at Eagle, we got a big wind here, big tailwind, so I'm going to disc down to the light glide. Don't want to go glide skip, because if I don't hit any trees, then it's almost guaranteed to go in the water. Oh, I just caught the trees there, darn it. Needed to go lower and put a little more hyzer on that. Let's see here. I think we'll maybe throw a sapphire on a forehand. Just kind of... Kind of a sharp, big, big hyzer forehand shot here, right at it. Not enough hyzer, not enough height, but we should be able to save birdie there. 51 feet. Oh, ooh, that looked like it was going to spit out on us. All right, hole number four, part three. This is not my favorite hole. For some reason I just am really, really good at finding myself behind the rock back there. So hopefully that doesn't happen. I like to slide to the right from default aim and then do a big hyzer shot with the accurate roll sapphire. And that's usually where you want to end up right there behind the shorter rocks. 86 feet. Oh, we snuck it in. It's always a dangerous shot, but we got the birdie there. Now this next hole is going to be decision. I was able to get highlight of the night with this shot last night in the Hops and Heisers event, so we're going to go for it again here. This is the glide roll rive. Everyone calls it a cut roll. You try to land it really sharp. And, oh, just missed the crystal. Get out of the water. Oh, man. And it's standing up for me. I don't know if I've gotten it over here before. Looks like we're going to have a look. Sweet. 72 feet. I'm going to go forehand just to make sure I don't catch the edge of that monolith. Whatever you want to call those stones. Got the eagle. So we got it in Hopsenheiser last night. Got it in multiplayer last night. And now we got it in the event today. So loving that line. The more I throw it, the more often I'm getting it. So. It's paying off. Here we go with the glide skip arrive. Didn't quite, I always like to be on the other side of this hill here, but from this distance, the harp is the perfect disc. T bottom chevron just on top of the basket. It's about that much. Anheuser, and we got it. Nice back to back eagles on those two holes. Show me anyone else that got back to back eagles on those two holes in the event. Not saying I'm going to win the event, but. Uh, at least I have that going for me. But so far, so good. We're going accurate roll sapphire here. Put a little bit of hyzer to make sure we don't get too far out to the right. Don't want to hit those bones. This is going to be a little too far to the left, but it's safe. And that's all we really care about. Not too bad at all. 64 feet, I'll take that on this hole. Any day of the week. Nice birdie. So I wish we would have had a look on three. That's kind of my only mistake so far. Hopefully we can get this one. Got a nice calm wind. I'm going to go glide, turn, rive. Just put about that much 
Oh, come back. This is going to be close. Oh, I almost needed to hit a tree. No. Well, first mistake of the round there. Luckily, we're out here far enough to where we should be able to save birdie. So it's not the worst, but you almost want to... Most of the most of the really good players are going to be getting eagle on that hole. All you got to do is get your drive in bounds. This is the light glide. Oh, man. Kind of got lucky. I wasn't trying to go right side of that tree, but it did. 54 feet. Got it to go. So we saved our birdie. Luckily, we got those other bonus eagles. So still got a solid round going. But I think a lot of people are getting that hole eight. This one... One win. I'm just going to throw the... Oh, what am I going to do here? I'm trying to decide between the glide turn and the water skip. I'm just going glide turn. My kind of old school play here for me. About a disc worth of hyzer. And this is looking perfect. Probably not going to have much look at Eagle. It's not going to get up there far enough. I mean, I'll give it kind of a little bit of a bid with the, with the Vandal. See if we can scare the basket here. Short and left, as expected. But what's that going to put us? 11 under after the first round? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, guys, here we go with round two. Let's keep it rolling. We got Ikigai Springs, and you know what I'm about to do on this whole one. Hopefully, we can get a good skip. And have a good look at Eagle. This is nice, calm one wind. Get around that tree. Nice. Got some good ground play. We should have a good shot here. 124. I like to go forehand with the pure. And. Oh man, I pansied it. Easy tap in birdie, but I really wanted that one. That would have been a nice start. It's going to be hard if I get a. A good wind here not to go for the ace after uh, making that video yesterday what do we got oh we got a one wind I gotta go for it It'd be sweet if I got it in a, an, e an event after just coming up with this line uh, I think I'm gonna go with the skip sapphire trying to remember the line slide to the left backhand Top chevron right about there, and full Anheuser here. Oh no, I turned it too much. Shoot. And that's what happens when you take risks like that. Man, I didn't I didn't even do that a whole lot while I was making the video. Let's see if I can save par. Okay, we got par, so minimal damage. But that's a, an unfortunate par on an easy birdie hole. So that is not good. Ooh, this wind. I think I'm going to change it up. As you saw in my video yesterday, when I have this wind, I think I'm going to start throwing the water skip. And just try for the air shot carry. And if I miss, then at least I have the water skip to save me. But that was a beautiful shot. So that should make this, this eagle pretty easy to get. Nice big tailwind, just throwing the Accurate Glide Sapphire here. Wasn't trying to make that or anything. Every once in a while you get a bounce up the rock, but you almost have to throw a skip disc for that, and I didn't do that. So, But we got the Eagle. Kind of made up for that par, but not really, because most players are going to be four under at this point. I missed my opportunity at one, and then I had that par. So kind of some unfortunate mistakes on a good event so far that cost us some strokes this is just the the instinct unfortunately I had some people ask there's really just no way to get the instinct now that they took the pack out it's not something that's offered in rewards so you either have to kind of win it as a special reward or hope that they offer it again but it's basically the same disc as the as the explorer so just different that's why I like to bag it instead of the Explorer 69 feet with the pure got it to go we get our birdie hole number five coming up I like to go with the glide turn 
put a bit of hyzer on it just to keep it stable enough and it should slide up towards the basket. What do we got? Probably about 50 feet, not too shabby. Big headwind, or not a big one, but a two headwind. Just snuck it over. Oof, glad I didn't leave that short. All right, hole number six, par three. Used to think it was a triple mando, but it's not. Don't have to go up the middle. And the easiest route is the left side with a forehand, either sapphire or PD. I like to throw the accurate roll sapphire for most wins. Would have been nice to have the PD in that wind. I would have thrown it instead, but here we go, 60 feet. And we got it to go. What do we got? What do we got next? The par five. See what the wind is. It can be pretty tough in a big headwind, but hopefully that's not the case. Got a little bit of a tailwind, so that should make this hole a little easier. Make sure I keep this on the top level. Hopefully it doesn't hit either of those two trees, which it's right in the middle. So a great drive. Hopefully we can do the same on our second shot with the glide skip arrive again. This can be tricky. A lot of people end up off in the trees in the right because you want to stay away from OB on the left side so you tend to overcorrect. But well, this is looking pretty perfect right up the fairway. Nice big skip. It's just a, such a tough hole. Even though I'm close, close enough to run it, it's a dangerous one so I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to try to just sneak the vandal through this little opening. Oh shoot. No. I don't really throw that disc very often. I'm not in that spot very often, so I should have put more hyzer on it, darn it. But, oh, shoot. Sounded like it hit chains, not the not the band up top, but definitely acted like it hit the band. Gosh, another unforced error there. Should not have done that. That should have been an easy birdie, especially after those first two shots. All right. Hopefully we can get this eagle and get this round back on track. I've been liking the the water skip gold here. Just been pretty consistent for me. Oh, this is hyzering a bit much. No. Okay, get up. No, no, no. Gosh. Skipped way too close to the water. Hit the rocks and then came back in. The water... Get a par on this hole. That is not good. That's like four strokes at least on this hole. Two strokes, three strokes, four. Almost five strokes I should have had different, especially considering I that first hole. I should have made that eagle. So kind of a bummer. This is just kind of how my global round went rounds went yesterday. Just I was playing pretty good. Just Missed some shots and some tough breaks, and it kind of just ruins around pretty quick. I'm going to go light glide on here, put some hyzer on it just to keep it away from these rocks. Looking like it's on a good line. It's always nice if you can keep it away from those rocks on the left. And just have more of an open shot towards the basket. I'm going to go with the... Yeah, I'm going to go with the harp here. Should have plenty of distance to get it up next to the basket but not too far. Ooh, cut it close there. So very disappointing round two. Definitely cost us any shot at winning the event for sure. Seven under there. And into Enzo. All right, hopefully we can have a good Enzo and make up some of those strokes we lost on the last one. Hole one, I'm going to go with the glide turn. No, don't. Oh, we got lucky. Gosh, man, another mistake. Just a foot to the right, and that would have been just fine. I probably would have had eagle on this hole. But at least we didn't end up out of bounds, and we'll still get the birdie. But just, just a bummer, because most people are going to get that eagle on that hole. So you know you're dropping a stroke there. But at least it wasn't a par. Hole two, been one of one of the ones I've looked forward to seeing. 
See if I can get a good line here. Appears to be pretty good. Hopefully it drops below that tree. Nice. Get away from those bamboo. Dang it. 62 feet. It should be a nice easy shot, but I got to go around these things. Try to get the harp around it. Should be a should be doable. Try to take my time a little bit here. Forehand. Oh man, right off the chains. Ah, another one, man. So many strokes so far. I had a great start to the event. I can just never put together four solid rounds. It just seems like it's just not feasible for me. And it's frustrating. Even when I'm playing good, I feel like I'm playing pretty well, throwing good shots, just not getting the breaks I need. See if we can get one here. Not a lot of people are going to get this one, but usually if I can keep it down on this lower level, ah, should have a good look here. 175, not as close as I'd like, but try the forehand with the pure. Oh, yeah. No, gosh. Just when I think I got one, then I leave it a foot short. Need to aim a little bit higher there. Man. All right, so pretty decent wind here. I like to go forehand still. Every once in a while I'll throw backhand here, but I just give myself a decent look with the forehand usually. Kind of a bummer skip there. 130, big left to right tailwind see if we can get one drop 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 oh nice all right that makes me feel a little better after missing the previous three it's always a good one to get next one i've been throwing water skip a lot i've just been having pretty good luck with it um So yeah, I just kind of throw it right at the basket. I got an ace last night on this hole in multiplayer, throwing a similar line, but it was going, oh, I missed the tree, shoot. It was going more straight at the basket. Got a water skip, then a little skip off the ground and aced it. So I think my third time ace in this hole, so that was pretty sweet. Anytime you can get it, nice. All right. Anytime you can ace a Enzo hole in multiplayer, that's always a good day. So we've had some good shots in multiplayer tonight. Haven't made a whole lot of progress, but had some good rounds and some good shots. So with this wind, should be able to get there with the Vandal. Put a little bit of Anheuser. Oh, are we cutting it close? Go, go, go. No. Why, Aaron? Should have just stuck with the Sapphire. I thought that was more of a tailwind and not so much a sidewind. Oh, man. Sit down. Almost threw that in the water. Dang it. Another stroke. No, another two strokes. That should be an eagle hole, and I get a par. Really blowing this event on some little mistakes. Try to keep this just left of these trees. The right of those trees. Skip before the bridge. Okay. All right, we're close enough to have a decent look. 81 feet, big headwind. Definitely not an easy shot, but doable. All right, dead center. That's always a nice one to get to, especially in that wind. Still bummed about that par. Oof, look at that wind. We're smart here and throw a good shot. We could end up up there by the basket. Uh, I think I'm just going to put a big old huge Anheuser here. That was not, I don't know why I let go when I did. I needed to go way more Anheuser. I don't know, my, maybe my brain was sinking the stupid tree because I don't want to throw it right into the trees on the right, but that, another huge mistake there, man. Not even get a birdie on this hole in that wind. Two pars on Enzo. Not what you want to see. One wind here. Better be an eagle. Get down there. Go, go, go. Not too far. Okay. A few rock probably saved me, but 
80 feet downhill got it to go through it about 65 feet or so it took about 15 feet off all right round three lost island again more than anything i'm excited for hole five <laughs> kind of screwed up the event with so many missed opportunities man it could have been such a good event i would have been so stoked going into this lost island layout again had i not made so many mistakes but we'll see if we can put together a solid round here got the birdie to start what's the wind doing here all right should be able to throw the sapphire again here with a big tailwind middle chevron right there this is the accurate glide sapphire uh oh come back all right should be all right stay away from the water and I'm going to have to do a little round the world action here. 54 feet. Should be able to get that to go. Like so. Hole number three coming up. Par four. See if we can do better than last time. Kind of ruined my, ruined my chances on this one last time. I'm going to go glide skip onto that rock. Don't get into that. Man, I, did, I didn't think I turned it that much. Ah, that's twice I screwed that hole up. I'm usually pretty good at this hole and usually have a pretty decent look at Eagle. But I missed it both times. Ooh, dang. Right on line, just not quite high enough. That's a tough shot back from back there. That would have been awesome to get that one. Now we got stupid hole four. What's the wind? Oh, yuck. All right, I'm gonna try to maybe even take some off of this to stay away from the stupid. I don't wanna get behind the rocks. Give me a good, oh, almost skipped. Okay, good result. Kind of a weird skip off the ground there. 78 feet, big right to left. Three wind. Get in there. Oh no. Another one. Now I lost count. How many strokes I've given up, man. Really haven't played too bad, but just the result's not going to be there. We're going for the roller again. See how we do. Okay. So far, so good. Get around. Oh man. It tried, but just kind of an unfortunate bounce. You want it to take like that sharp bounce straight left and then start rolling on a steep angle, but just kind of cut too much of the too much of the speed off it when it hit the ground like that. So that would have been nice to get that in both rounds. Unfortunately, we couldn't get her done. Let's see if we can get this next one, make up for that dang par. Slide to the right, middle chevron down in between the wall and the spikes there. Again, I'm not able to keep it left of the mound. So we're going to probably be throwing the harp again here from about 200 feet. 197. Bottom chevron right on the basket. And, oh, did we get it again? Come back, come, dang it. Another one, so close. A little too much Anheuser. Didn't quite have enough time to come back into the basket. Bummer. Go backhand accurate roll sapphire again. Top chevron just above that edge there where it drops off. And you don't want to put it too far out because you'll hit those bones. But this is looking perfect. That line does not give me a chance at ace. That's the only downside. I do have an ace line on the forehand with the PD, but I don't throw it very often. I just stick with the safe. All right, let me try to redeem myself on this hole. This is the one mistake I had on, on Lost Island in round one. Oh, no, and it looks identical. Same line. It's going to miss the tree and go in the water. Oh, man. Oh, Oh, well, that's a lucky break. Big drive now, 376. 
long shot at an albatross here try to scoop it in with the sapphire stay right no way off target a weird little skip but it helped out at least we're going to get the eagle there make up for last time all right last hole of the event let's see what happens what wind do we got oh we got a nice wind i think i'm going to go forehand with the gold a water skip put a little bit of anheuser on it and hopefully get up there with a look at eagle but it's never an easy eagle probably get farther with the glide skip rive but i've just been liking this line it's kind of fun and you can get up there dang it still not quite wide enough get away from the rocks okay fought up there a little bit so we got a look 220 i mean not a great look we should be able to get farther than that but we'll take what we get i'm going to go with the instinct try to just carve it right through those front teeth into the basket ah again no go dang it man that would have been a sweet finish still a fun event i like the layout i really enjoyed it i like both of the ikka guys a lot i felt like i played pretty well just didn't quite score as well as i wanted uh, i'm gonna take that accurate skip river nice looking disc and then we'll see what reward we get from the event. Oh, it's not a level up. An accurate glide link. What the heck is a link? Sweet dragon disc, though. And I think it's a glow disc. I'm going to go check it out real quick while I'm recording. Just to see if it's anything that interests me. Pull it up. Sharp looking disc. I love the stamp. What do we got? Straight flight when thrown. Oh, it's not very long. Definitely not going to be bagging this. What is it, like 220? I'll tell you what though, the putter in the, the new pack, it's very similar to the pure and the hope. If any of you guys are looking for a good putter to throw, yeah, 236. Then check out that new putter in the pack. But there you go, guys. There's today's event. Hopefully I uh, got it posted before many of y'all played it and it helps out and thanks for watching me play some dgv